Welcome back. Probably in one year, banks will have to start providing for loans before they default, even when they start showing stress. What impact can it have on the balance sheets? We are discussing with uh, Mr. Dinesh Khara, Mr. S.S. Mundra, Mr. Harsh Mardhan, and Mr. Krishan Sitaraman. Gentlemen, thank you very much for waiting on. Uh, well, uh, uh, Mr. Mundra, uh, do you think it is something that can be done, say, uh, uh, do we get the final guidelines and the date by, say, in another six months, uh, effective date? Do you think the Reserve Bank itself has that level of modeling and sophistication? Uh, well, Lata, I think uh, the 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 first point of preparing the model is start with the bank. Uh, then there will be a process of validation. Uh, I think uh, uh, even external validation is something which could be looked into it. But uh, if I look at the complexity of the subject mm. and also the approach which RBI has been uh, following all along, mm. uh, my sense would be by the time we see the final guidelines in our hand, because now this is a discussion paper, yeah. it will be followed by a draft guideline, where would again be a uh, you know, public comment would be, uh, uh, would be invited, and then the final uh, guidelines will come. And then there will be again a period of one year to prepare the models and all that. So one thing, uh, you know, this uh, one year from now, the provisioning requirement, even the dimension of provisioning will not be coming in one year from now. Because uh, if you also include that period of one year, my sense is anything between 18 months to 24 months okay. would be the horizon where we would have this sense uh, in our hand. Yeah. So I think that will be my sense around the timeline. Oh, okay. Uh, well, um, uh, Mr. Harshwardhan, uh, what is your uh, uh, sense about, uh, uh, you know, when uh, we can start and, uh, you know, when the legal changes will be needed? See, in AQR, the Reserve Bank, was, the government was resisting because capital was needed from the government. Right now, it doesn't look like government has to capitalize uh, any of the public sector banks. So, uh, any legal, previous legal changes needed? Uh, Lata, allow me just one quick point sure, because we, sure. it was talked about. Uh, we have said that the current provisioning levels are very high. Bear in mind, these are provisioning for already defaulted loans. Mm. In the new regime, we will have to start providing a significantly larger amount for even the standard loans. Yeah. Today, the provisioning average provisioning for standard loans is quarter percent, 0.25. Uh, so there is a long way to go. So the fact that we have over provisioning today does not give me much of a comfort mm. because the standard book is not being provided for. Now, coming back to your issue about legal, um, I'm not a lawyer, Lata, I don't let, but I feel that the Nationalization Act that governs PSU banks actually also includes the way their financial statements will be prepared. And I don't know whether that will prove to be an impediment in implementing this. If that be the case, then uh, that be the case, then that bit of the law will have to be changed. My own sense was that that was one of the reasons why India's implementation to PSU Bank was halted. Okay. Uh, so okay. I don't know if that's a situation, okay. um, but, but maybe some legal expert will be able to uh, advise on that. Fair enough. Actually, this is a very good point you make that all this provisioning is for already defaulted loans. So, Correct. you know, there is a whole new gamut when it is yet to be uh, loans that are yet to default. We have not Correct. provided anything for SMA uh, loans that are 60 days past due. Or even standard loans. Yes. The current standard loan provisioning is 0.25%. Yeah, which is what I want to ask Krishnan actually. You know, uh, Krishnan, most of the AAA companies and even AA go to the market partly by RBI fiat itself. Chances are the standard average of loans that come to the bank will be triple B. And this was Mr. Harshwardhan's guess as well. So, uh, you know, a provisioning of uh, what is the provisioning needed uh, for uh, loans like that? Could the standard provisioning itself go from 0.25 to what? 2.5, 3 percent? No, uh, I think that's a very valid point. The provisioning levels definitely uh, will go up uh, with this path-breaking uh, kind of new dispensation. What I was trying to make a point is, uh, if this uh, gu guidelines or the change was introduced five years back, then the impact on the banking system would be far higher. Today, the banking system has a higher degree of provisioning coverage, so the impact, the incremental impact would be less today as compared to what it was five years back. But definitely, there will be an increase in the provisioning requirement going forward when this uh, new dispensa uh, dispensation is implemented. Uh, you have not come out uh, with any number, uh, Krishnan? 
So it's as I said, it's very difficult to envisage it at this point of time because there are uh, some nitty gritties, some uh, uh, in, uh, the specifics which are not yet here. For instance, RBI has said that they will come out with a prudential floor because hmm. the un underlying provisioning is to be left to the banks. The models are left to the banks. Now there could be variations between bank to bank when they come out with these provisioning or impairment charges. So RBI will subject that to supervisory review, and if they feel that uh, some of the banks are giving a lower number, they, they will come out to avoid yeah. that, to mitigate the issues there. They, they will come out with a prudential floor. Mr. Mudra, uh, out of time, therefore, final thoughts from you. Uh, even this niggling worry, do you think PSU banks will have a little more to provide for than uh, private banks? Uh, well, Lata, I think uh, I, I would put it like this. I mentioned in the beginning, is a huge unknown, unknown as of today. And also it is subject to three, four major points mm. which are out for discussion, but where a final view is not taken. Uh, uh, but, you know, if you look at what happened in last three, four, five years, the whole composition of the books. Earlier, the problem with public sector banks was that the composition of their books was leaning very highly towards the, uh, to the, you know, large credit. And uh, then there had been event which we know uh, because of that, most of that books, you know, has been either it has been dealt with or it has been provided for or it has been, you know, uh, sold out and all that. Uh, many, you know, most of these banks are also now uh, having the book which is well balanced between the institutional credit, retail credit. Of course, MSME is one segment, I agree, yeah. which uh, which is still prominent, predominant with... Uh, uh, with PSB, but there are also major changes are happening in, yeah. in uh, last one and one and a half year. Mr. Mudra, and, and, yeah. may I squeeze so, so in? May I squeeze in quickly one? Only, yes, which my... only you can answer. Do you think that, you know, this problems like discom loans, I mean, banks were arm twisted into providing more even when the previous loans were, you know, huge outstandings, visible stress. Will all this go away or will all this compound the problem for public sector banks? Uh, no, even, even, you know, look at the discount loans and all that. The model in which they were being given earlier and then certain things, provisions came and the model in which they are given subsequently. And with the top of that, the recent, uh, you know, directive by the, uh, by the regulators in electronic field where all the overdues are, you know, getting recovered uh, by, the, by the power producers. So I think enabling legislations are also coming. My sense would be, yes, difference would remain. Probably PSBs would be, but I would say they would be marginally impacted on the higher side. Oh. It is not going to be a very huge difference between the two kind of entities. That would be my sense. Okay, sir. We'll have to leave it at that. We're out of time, but uh, this is only the first of the conversations. But let me assure you, this is a change that is coming into the banking system, which is almost as seminal as allowing private sector bank licenses. It's a big change, and therefore it's a change for the better. Wrap up on this edition of Internomics. Thanks for watching.